Hi students, uh, one element of the uh, house project that we're going to be doing is uh, uh, to indicate services uh, going through uh, the house, okay? So um, what I've got here is just a, a small cutout uh, with a floor, a wall, a ceiling, window and a door. What I want to do is just give you an introduction into how we place uh, electrical families, lighting families, and uh, miscellaneous uh, other bits and pieces that need to be placed uh, in, in regard to the services. Um, but uh, what I want to show you as well is that on my YouTube uh, channel, okay, um, if you look for me here, Dr. Maliki Matthews, um, you will find, and I'll just go back in here into the channel, if you go into playlists, you'll find TU uh, 831 First Year House Services. And if you click on that, um, okay, you'll see that there's five videos here hot and cold, uh, foul drainage, boiler, water tank rads, ESB, gas boxes, socket smoke detectors, and more switches and lights. So that basically covers all the uh, the items uh, that we want to cover in our services section of, of the residential house. Um, the switches, lights, the socket smoke detectors, boiler, water tanks, rad, CSV back, gas boxes, uh, all of those are, will be, we will be using families for those and we will be placing the families. For the foul and the hot and cold, um, we, and the flow and return from the radiators, we'll be using just line work um it is possible to model these up um it's a skill i would like you to develop but it would take us a few weeks to uh to introduce that to you and we don't have time to do that uh, in this semester so we'll just be using line work to indicate uh these ones here and we will be using the families here so that's what i want to show you here Let's just give you an idea because they're tricky they can be uh, and if i explain a couple of things to you it'll go an awful lot quicker right in your uh, project browser over here, uh, if you come down to electrical uh, uh, fixtures, uh, you're going to see a whole load of um, families here. And I want to show you how to place these um, more than anything. So we start off with a, a socket, okay? So a double switch socket. And if I click into that, okay, and I drag it out, right? Um, so the first thing it's going to look for uh, is a wall on which to place itself, okay? And you'll find that these are generally set at uh, um, 450 above the ground, something like that. Now, you can see that uh, it's, it's looking uh, to be positioned there. So I'm just going to escape out of that. I'm going to go into the ground floor plan, all right? And I'm going to take the exact same thing again, all right? Now, you can see there that it's looking for um uh, to be placed now it can't be placed inside the wall that's uh, of no use at all right um so uh, i'm going to go to a, an east elevation this time and i'm going to place uh, my socket switch there all right and if you zoom in now let's just check the position of that make sure that it is there okay and uh, i think it just possibly needs to be moved out a little bit here and let's just go back to the east elevation see that uh, no you should be able to see uh, those sections there and um, let's just check oh do you know what it is it's actually the detail level okay so if i go to find there it is that's was the change there now you see what i mean about tricky little things here so if you're in course that's what you see uh, if you're in fine that's what you see there all right and there was no need to move it maybe off the off the wall so that was the uh, the socket there um so you've got various different socket types here you've got uh, one with a, a usb uh, as well and again they pop in here now the standard uh, height above uh, the ground floor level is 450 for these and you can see that line there so that's what that line is doing it's allowing us to pop this in at the correct level above the floor level straight away um, okay so let's try a couple of other things here here's a charging point 
okay and you can see that this is 1200 now that should actually be that's a charging point for a car so that should be a external here's a light switch okay so here's a two gang 1200 and uh, again uh, we can position that i'll go to the south elevation here and i'll position that one there okay so that's kind of in a 1200 and again uh, fine so sometimes it's easier to position these in uh, in a section view um, or something like that uh, as well now if i go back to my ground floor plan so uh, and i think this kind of needs to be uh, explained to you okay is the makeup um, of uh, each of these units right I'm just going to push that back uh, to where it should be in there. Right, so you can see that uh, in, in the plan, what we've got here is this uh, this type of indicator. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just take that out to lead that one. Sorry, pardon me. No. Okay. Now, so I got two there. There's one with the USB, and there's one uh, just a standard one here. So when I'm looking at this in plan, this is what I get to see. Uh, when I look at it in elevation, that's what I get to see. So how is this actually made up? And we need to go into the family to take a look at that. All right. So uh, here's the unit going to that family. So these are nested families here. Now you can see that that is a piece of um so one maybe it's five so that's just a piece of geometry uh, that has been modeled up and uh, that is introduced into okay into this family here and if i go to a plan level there okay so you've got the piece of the one that you see in elevation sits here and what we see in plan is here so there's actually two families together uh, to give us that um, so that this will work both in plan and in elevation for us all right uh, so that's and most of your of the families are made up in that way now here is a cooker uh, I think 1200 off okay and um, again you can see that it's looking for a wall to be placed on okay so we do that so it didn't place inside, it placed there. Let's take a look at our east elevation and look at that. So there's the, uh, that is the cooker switch that, switch that goes on in there. Um, now you get the point. So um, as we go through various things here, these are all kind of uh, wall mounted as such. And that's how they're described as in, in the family as wall mounted. So what happens when we come uh, to a light, to a, a, a downlighter, a fire rated downlighter or something like that? Okay, so if I go back to my ground floor plan and I pick my downlighter and I pull it out from here, okay, you can see that it is looking, it won't connect to the walls, it's looking for something to connect to. And what this one is, is a ceiling hosted, okay, ceiling hosted. So. You can see in my 3D that I've got a ceiling in here. Now, I could actually go about and do it this way, look, right? So once it picks up the ceiling, uh, it knows that uh, it's in the right spot, okay? Mm -hmm. So you could do something like that. Now, sometimes that doesn't work hugely well for us, okay? You can see the, uh, the units in there. So what we do is uh, we come back up to our project browser, and we have these ceiling plans. When you create a floor plan, it creates a ceiling plan as well. So if I go into this ceiling plan of the ground floor plan, what it is is that I'm now on the floor, but I'm looking up, okay? So you know that in plans, it's generally we're at a level and we're looking down, but the ceiling plan reverses that. Now, but that becomes extremely handy uh, in this situation where I am able to... Uh, go down and pick up uh, things like uh, the the uh, the down lighters and uh, pop them uh, into position like so all right now let's go to the ground floor plan and uh, um, I what, what is interesting here is you know that our um, our uh, view range so let me just go into the view range here 
and our view range is set to cut at 1500 so we're seeing everything at 1500 and below but look here's our uh, here's our downlighter and we can actually see that right so how how does revit do that um, if i go back to my east uh, elevation here okay and i select one of those downlighters now do you see that line there okay so that line is included in this family and what that line does that is that line goes below the 1500 cut here all right so it's a little bit of magic that that revit does so if the line uh, that's attached to this uh, downlighter unit goes below the cut level in the view range it means that when i come back to my ground profile i can see these items here okay now a lot of these um sbh uh, um, electrical families uh, have that included because a lot of the default ones out of the uk library do not have that included so that's why these are so handy to be able to use uh, so you've got look you've got staircase lights you've got telephone points you've got a tv point and again uh, if you just think the obvious ones you know these are wall hosted okay so that when we're looking at them in plan we can see them like that and uh, when we're looking at them in elevation we can see them uh, like that there and there's our lights so when you're uh, placing these okay when you're placing these um uh, families as such <clears throat> uh, you apply a little bit of logic to them uh, here's a heat detector so where do you think the heat detector goes here's a carbon monoxide detector where do you think that goes well they're generally in the ceiling so they are ceiling hosted so if i come across here and i bring that out there you can see it's not it's connecting to the wall or anything like that but if i go back to my um if i go back to my uh ceiling plan here ground floor ceiling okay and i'll go back to that uh, unit that uh, carbon monoxide unit say the detector now you can see look so it's positioning itself there and it's got we've got the co2 let's try the heat detector okay and that is looking for a ceiling as well and here's the smoke detector and that is looking for a ceiling as well there okay so now you can see carbon uh, monoxide heat and smoke now let's have a look at our ground floor plan so they've all appeared okay go back to my east elevation and again if i pick that there's the magic line uh, there for for those ones and um and you can see them in elevation as well so what you need to do is just make sure that um and there's those units here okay so are they floor hosted wall hosted ceiling hosted that's the they're the questions that you need to ask here now there's a couple of other things that we need to put in here and um they would be say something like uh, this one nested meter box or something like that uh, do i have um, an esb box here because i'm pretty sure that yeah i've got an aircom box here look and again that is wall hosted so that is external okay um it says there's one in here already uh site services box esb okay so again um and again look it's it, it's looking for somewhere to to load itself so i'm going to go into the ground floor plan and let's see uh, by hitting the space bar now i'm able to position that and again once it's positioned we can shift it uh, into uh, the wall like so so that one didn't successfully um load in a 3d view it might have successfully loaded in um, an elevation view okay but it was successful to load in a plan view so again that's one of the tricky little things that you come across with these back here and there is your esb box there okay pretty dark you can select that and the material is pvc okay here's the pvc c okay so let's say uh, i pick this one here and uh, we'll put a surface pattern of uh, white into it and let's see how that does first apply okay 
the count now it's not better so you can actually see that ESP box there and then same with the gas box okay here it is here and again so it's not really helping me doing it that way so I'll go back into the to the plan here I'll hit the space bar once and look I can position that like so now once they're there you can move them up and down uh, in terms of uh, do I have two in here I think I do go to the 3d and there's the gas box there and again uh, so I can move them to the side I can move them out uh, but if I go into um, say an elevation of that or I can pick it and go here elevation off the ground let's do a 450 something like that and it'll lift it up that way and again if you wanted to change that material you can do that as well so again they are uh, wall hosted but easier to uh, position in uh, a ground floor plan than in uh, 3d or an elevation as such um, so there is look they're in uh, generic models uh, there so the main ones you'll be doing uh, will be uh, the electrical uh, units okay there's electrical equipment here there's a solar panel and there's another meter box there if, uh, if it uh, is needed um, and they can go pretty quickly so um, that's giving you a, a, a brief outline uh, of things to look out for when you go to place these uh, service and utility uh, families uh, in your project.